Wow, am I actually recording a video for YouTube? Is this actually happening, Substriker Army? Those who love Substrika, just like I do, because Substrika is my favorite Pokemon. I cannot believe I'm actually recording a video. Honestly, I haven't recorded a video in like a few months. It's insane. I don't know, but anyways, my name is Jacob as always, and welcome to our first official video series, video Nuzlocke series on our channel. We are doing Pokemon Soul Silver the Jake Lock, and no, it's not named after me. It's named after my one friend Jake. I thought of this idea because he always makes up a challenge for himself when he plays Pokemon games normally. We're gonna hit no uh, info needed because we don't need inf information or anything. But anyways, before we get the game started eventually and start talking to Professor Crazy Oak, I just want to explain the rules of this Nuzlocke challenge. Basically, the rules of the Nuzlocke challenge are as simple. The first Pokemon you encounter into every any given route, that is going to be the first Pokemon that we can catch. We only can catch one Pokemon per route, and if we don't catch the Pokemon on the route, too bad, we can't catch it, doesn't matter. No bueno, that's not good for us if we don't catch it, uh, cause the more the merrier in Nuzlocke, we absolutely have to have, <clears throat> we absolutely have to have as many Pokemon as possible, cause we want to win this challenge. I'm trying to make this challenge as difficult as possible because I love challenges and I love making challenges for myself, not only in video games, but in life in general too. So as you guys are probably going to hear throughout this entire journey through the Johto region, as you can see, we're playing Pokemon Soul Silver by the introduction. And don't worry, I'll probably put an annotation when we uh, officially start the game. I just want to ramble on and go on and on and about, about this game. But anyways, what a Jake lock is going to be. Like I said, first Pokemon ever go, you have an opportunity to catch it. If you don't catch it, you can't You can't even catch Pokemon in the route, next route then. Um, essentially, uh, every Pokemon you catch, you have to nickname. Just, just make a stronger bond with that Pokemon and it faints, then you're probably going to cry, or I'm probably going to cry. Um, that's basically where the normal Nuzlocke rules are into play. This is a randomizer, so anything can happen. I made it so base stat Pokemon will stay the same, like, for trainers and for uh, Pokemon we can catch on the way. Like, Centred space stats will be like a Rattata space stats. So wherever Centred is, we could find a Rattata instead in its place. For an example, I just wanted to say that as an example. Um, basically what the Jake Lock rules are, um, my one friend Jake, uh, he always plays Pokemon games, he's like, I don't want to heal my Pokemon, if they can't win without healing, they're not good enough. So he doesn't use any healing items or anything, however, I'm not going to go be that insane like he does. Instead, I'm not going to use Pokemon Centers, unless I earn gym badges. I'm going to give myself like three points right away, every gym badge I earn, I get one point. In order to use a Pokemon Center, I have to pay, I guess we'll say a half a point to use a Pokemon Center. So every gym badge I get, I accrue one point. So I'll start myself with three, because it's kind of like three strikes, you're out thing. But yeah, I, no, actually we'll do one point per Pokemon Center visit. So this is going to be awfully hard, because it's randomized, so our items are randomized. We can buy as many items as possible. Also, we can use Pokemon Centers if all of our Pokemon's moves are below half. So all of our Pokemon moved have to be below half, and then we can use our Pokemon Center to heal the Pokemon. And we also cannot deposit Pokemon in the VC to heal them, because that'd be like kind of a, like a cheap strategy out. And I know some of you guys may be thinking about that, but yeah, we cannot do that. We cannot unless we're depositing them for a different Pokemon to use on our team. Then we can. That's not really cheating the system, but yeah, we cannot do it that way. Absolutely not depositing Pokemon in to do that. But yeah, we can buy as many items as we want, anything like that. And I'm, in fact, I'm probably going to have to buy as many items as possible just to survive this challenge. It's going to be an insanely difficult challenge. But yeah, we can't use Pokemon Centers unless we use our points. We start with three points. Uh, Pokemon have to be nicknamed. We can catch only the first Pokemon every row. I think I covered all the Nuzlocke rules, and if I didn't, the rest of the rules will be in the description down below, so make sure to read them. And also make sure to... Uh, answer the comment question of the day, which I don't know what it's going to be yet. Just look at the question of the day in the comments. Hmm, interesting. Huh? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I was just reading this book here. Oh, great. It's Professor Crazy Oak. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. 
Uh, did his voice just, like, get gradually really high all of a sudden? I hope not. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things. You should know about this world. Okay. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. It's a Meryl. So that's cool. We humans have a strong side Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Hence why we're doing a Nuzlocke randomizer. Oh, well, that's my opinion, at least. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Will you please tell me? Uh, yeah. I better check, guys. I'll be right back. Yup. 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 Alright. As you can clearly see by the webcam on screen, I'm a girl. So, we're gonna be a girl in this game. Name Jacob. Because that logically makes sense. Yup. Yup. So yeah, our name is Jacob Zowies, the female playing Pokemon Soul Silver, the Nuzlocke Randomizer. Yeah, the no, no, the Jake Lock Randomizer. It's not the Nuzlocke Randomizer. It's the Jake Lock Randomizer. I am ready. Your very own tale of random adventures about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventures. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Ah, oh, great. You get to see that crazy dude later. Wonderful. Or should I say, WONDERFUL! I really have no idea. And the reason I'm playing Soul Silver for the first official Nuzlocke series on our channel is because Soul Silver slash Heartgold slash Soul Silver is my favorite game of all time, Pokemon wise, so I definitely just had to play it. Ethan's playing with his Meryl. I have a friend named Ethan. He's really tall. He's a teacher. He's actually a music teacher. I'm not gonna say where though. Because that would give away locations of my friends. I'm not about that. I'll just say Wisconsin. That'll be that. And our mother was just telling us all about the trainer card, the save button, the options button, and the bag button. We're going to set the tech speed to fast because it's driving me crazy. And uh, we'll make our window type green. Because I like green. Because green and gold, even though it's not the right green for the Green Bay Packers at all. I don't know, attack speed just drives me bonkers when it's not set at fast. You just have no idea. Hey, there's a Meryl. Hi, Meryl. Who are you? Are you Ethan? You don't have glasses and you're not super tall. What's up with this? This game's lying to me. This game is lying to me. Hello? This game is such a bad liar. There's this red haired dude up here. Let's talk to him. Hi, alright. <laughs> so, this is the famous Elden Pokemon map. What are you staring at? What? Rude! Why would you kick me? I am your, I, I am your master. You, you obey me right now. You apologize. No? You're not gonna apologize? Fine. We will just go into the Elm Lab, and we will have fun with that. Yo, Professor Elm! Okay. I'm not gonna do voices for everyone, by the way, just for certain people that I want to do voices for. Now, I know nothing about Pokemon research. Yep. I have no knowledge on Pokemon whatsoever, so... Whatever you will, uh, whatever you say will enlighten me, and I will learn a lot about Pokemon in this journey. I'm sure about things that I didn't even know of before. Yep, yep. I know nothing about Pokemon. That is completely true. Uh, I feel like we should say yes. The yeah, the right thing to do is say yes, but I feel like we should say no to his question. I don't really want to... Yeah, I, I really don't want to say no. I don't really want to say no to his question. Do an acquaintance... Mr. Pokemon? Oh. Okay, weird things. I'm not about those weird things, so I'm gonna have to say no. Please don't tell me you're gonna make me say yes. No, no, no! Really? I'm gonna leave. Maybe he'll make. Nope, not gonna. He won't let me leave. Fine! I will look at the Pokemon. Let's see what we have for options, guys. Larvitar! Oh jeez, that's amazing. 
Mareep, and Shimchar. <coughs> so Larvitar is Totodile. That's Chikorita. And that's Cyndaquil. So I have to pick Mareep. And he'll have Larvitar. If I pick Chikorita, he'll have Mareep. And if I pick Larvitar, he'll have uh, Chimchar. I want to pick Larvitar. That's like the strongest Pokemon. Like, if I pick Mareep, though, <sighs> this is tough. I don't know what to choose. Eh, eh. This is so nerve wracking. Like, if I pick wrong, I could lose the challenge. Nah, I'm gonna leave you guys off with the cliffhanger because I feel like being a jerk right now. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching the first installment of our Pokemon Soul Silver Jake Lock Randomizer. If you guys could please leave a like rating. Uh, electrify that like button, like a sub strike a wood, sub strike army. Have a great day, everyone, and I love you all very much. Adios, amigos.